in the previous video you have seen how to create an rdd in this video i will show you how to write a simple program using rdds in pyspar now i am writing to print even numbers in a list this is the list i have let me parallelize the list into an rdd using a spark context um, rdd sc dot parallelize data here i have created num rdd now i i want to apply transformations on uh, num rdd even Um, rdd dot filter filter is a transformation here x is uh, x modulus yeah Uh, I think you are already familiar with uh, this lambda. Uh, here, like lambda x uh, defines a lambda function that takes only one argument, and uh, then x x modulus two equals to zero evaluates whether x is uh, divisible by two without a remainder. Now let me print uh, even our uh, RDD whether I can able to see the expected result or not. Even screw. Now this is not the expected result uh, from from this RDD. Let me run the same program in Python whether I can able to see the expected result or not. See here you can see the list. Limit. This is a even. Let me print the result. yeah here you can see the result but coming to uh, data bricks here you are not seeing any result the reason here it is when you create an rdd in spark and apply transformations to it like uh, filtering even even numbers you are building up a series of transformations that spark will apply to the data however this transformations are lazy meaning they don't actually get executed until an action is called you you need to call an action like a collect to trigger the execution of transformations in spark without an without an action spark will not process the data and printing the rdd will not show the expected result because transformations have not been applied yet now uh if you want to if you want me to print the even rdd numbers here you can see even numbers even dot color now print even numbers yeah here you can see the result of uh, our program now i want to sum all the even numbers using the reduce action let me create another cell sum of even numbers equals to I have even score dot 
reduce and the scanner. Here I am passing two arguments x and y. So like sum space. Yep. Let me print a sum of uh, even numbers. Print. Some yeah, now here you can see the result. That's it. See you in the next video.